hello everyone uh, my new video recording is uh, related to the 802.1x port based authentication with cisco eyes uh, using d-link dgs1510 switch it's a light l3 switch uh, fully loaded with uh, l2 features uh, let me show you my lab setup i have one uh, cisco eyes which is connected to ethernet port 1 slash 1 and I have one 802.1x authentication PC which is connected to port uh, Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 3 and uh, my VLAN IP I am going to change it to uh, 1099.15 slash 8 uh, I want to show you the customization on the switch as well so let me show you first uh, uh, the VM part uh, as you can see uh, my VM my username is uh, admin and default one a uh, show version uh, as you can see my host name is uh, uh, cisco ice and uh, my cisco identity service engine version is uh, 2.4 okay and uh, uh, I will start with the configuration with the Cisco eyes first so let's uh, begin our configuration part from the Cisco eyes uh, what you have to do first you have to upload the dealing dictionary in my case is already uploaded because uh, dealing is not a registered vendor with the Cisco eyes so you have to upload the dictionary to the radius so you have to click on policy under the policy element you have to choose dictionary and then you have to expand and you will see this radius option so as you can see radius vendors under the radius vendors you will find all the 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 listed vendors so in my case i already uploaded the dealing dictionary if you don't have this dealing dictionary you can download it from the internet and just click on the import and you have to browse the dictionary and click on import so the dictionary will be imported into the cisco ice this is the dictionary part uh, which was very necessary to mention now uh, what we have to do we have to create uh, a network device profile so in my case uh, i already have a d-link profile so let me show you the parameters of the d-link profile this is the network device profile with the name of uh, dealing profile in my case i already enabled the radius and i have chosen my the dealing dictionary here you can browse your dictionary from here now what uh, what other parameters you need i am not going to touch anything except this map part uh, you have to process host lookup check password pepchap and pepchap and epmd5 under the permission you must have to choose this set vlan and 802.1x attributes other things are in default i'm not going to touch anything and uh, click on save at the end once you are finished with device profile uh, let me show you the devices group uh, i already have uh, some device group as you can see dealing switch and location as a testing lab uh, it's a customizable uh, you can click on add and you can add your device type and location anything if you want okay now network devices uh, in my case i already have a uh, i already added one device for my previous video recording now i'm going to add this uh, new switch as a dgs1510 so click on add and uh, the name is i'm going to make it as dgs1510 uh, hyphen the IP in my lab is uh, I'm going to assign 1090.90.15 so 10.90.90.15 the device profile I'm going to use the dealing profile that I have shown you in my previous uh, steps location I'm going to use it as testing lab IPsec no and device type as a dealing switch so what else I have to adjust the radius authentication parameter D-Link 1, 2, 3 this is the the shared key D-Link 1, 2, 3 and you have to click on submit ok so as you can see this uh, device is successfully added now we have to configure the identity so I am going to use the internal identity store uh, uh, of the Cisco ICE so I am going there is already one user I am going to add one more user here so I just want to make it as uh, user 15 
and uh, password type internal user I will just make it I will assign the password and uh, user anything so in my case I am using user 15 so user 15 and uh, which group I am going to use the default account group and click on submit that's it so I will use this user 15 for my 802.1 export based authentication please note that uh, user 15 with you now uh, what else we have to do uh, let me show you some other parameters the allowed protocol so authentication default protocol is allowed if you need some more parameters you can just choose accordingly so I'm using the default uh, authentication protocol now let's create one authorization profile so as you can see I have one uh, create profile already created I'm not going to use the existing one I will create new authorization profile and I will just make it as a uh, D-Link AU uh, authorization and then I will use VLAN 15 okay and the device profile this is the name you can assign any name and I'm going to use uh, D-Link profile and uh, here we have to adjust the tag the VLAN tag so you have to click the VLAN edit tag and I will just make it 15 15 and you have to scroll down and just click on submit okay let me show you the profile dealing authorization profile VLAN 15 the VLAN tag is 15 and rest of the thing is default I didn't touch anything except only this name uh, the device profile and the VLAN tag that's it for the authorization uh, profile let's create a policy as you can see I have some already predefined I already have one default policy and this is the old one that I have used in my previous recording so I will create a new policy so new policy and I will make it as a DGS 1510 and uh, I will just make it as a device location and I will just make it as location as a testing lab that's it and I will just uh, default network protocol and I will have to click on save and now uh, I will expand this 1510 profile as you can see I am in the 1510 uh, profile configuration the policy set uh, profile so authentication profile for the default it will check all ID stores if the authentication fail I will just want to make it continue but I have to set the authentication rule so the rule is I am going to use the authentication rule as a, sorry no I will use a wide 802.1x authentication as you can see it's a 802.1x default rule defined in the Cisco uh, ICE and uh, I will just make it as continue okay so it will just check the policy and then it will check the authentication uh, store as well ID store so internal user now we will create authorization profile so I have to click authorization profile rule 1 and I will use uh, I will just use the internal user mm if internal user no let me just click here internal user show internal user and username username is equal to user 15 if username is equal to user 15 then uh, the NAS IP address the radius you have to choose the radius and NAS IP address so what is my switch IP switch IP is 1290.90.15 then new what I will use this uh, authentication uh, network access authentication status is equal to pass the only you have to choose these three parameters so I'm saying in my authorization policy if my username internal user username is user 15 and the NAS IP this NAS IP is my switch IP 
and status then give him a status as pass so i will just click on use now next which profile i'm going to use i'm going to use this vlan 15 profile okay and just click on save that's it this is the only policy you have to define on uh, uh, on dg uh, on cisco ice so as you can see these other policies are having some hits so we should receive a hit for this policy as well now let's proceed for the configuration on dgs1510 so default username admin admin password show version as you can see i am using dgs1510 hardware a1 and firmware version uh, 1.30 so uh, show ip interface brief as you can see it's 1090.90 the default i am going to change according to my requirements so my requirement is uh, 10.90.90.15255.0.0 no shut exit and i have to create what vlan 15 let me show you the vlan as you can see there is uh, there is only one vlan so i will just create a vlan 15 because we are going to use the vlan 15 so once the once the user is successfully authenticated he should receive the vlan 15 as you can see there is no port assigned to vlan 15 here all ports are member of vlan 1 that's it for now uh, let's enable some uh, let me let's configure some local user username as a uh, root privileges 15 and uh, uh, username root privileges 15 password password this is the password let's enable password enable password uh, what parameter we have level 15 privilege uh, password is level 15 then i will just assign the password this is the password line console i will just make, uh, sorry line console uh, password login so uh, why i am doing this in case if uh, in case if something goes wrong this is for the recovery purpose like for example if the ser radius server is not reachable so this uh, local user root user is defined on the switch we can use this user to log into the switch so line telnet uh, password okay. login exit now uh, VLAN already defined uh, NAS IP is changed. Let's configure the the AAA parameter, AAA new model, uh, radius server host 10.90.90.50. Uh, key is uh, dlink123. Okay, and uh, AAA group server radius. So our uh, group is uh, Cisco. Uh, hyphen ice okay and server 10.90.90.50 and exit that's it okay so from where i re i got this uh, host uh, name cisco ice as you can see here i show you earlier that the host name is cisco hyphen ice okay uh trying mode if you see this is the this is the host name as you can see cisco hyphen ice and this is my ice version 2.4 okay that's it so what else we have to do we have to enable dot one x system auth control this command is used to enable dot one x globally on the switch now we will enable the method if triple a authentication dot one x then use default group of cisco hyphen ice and then if ice is not reachable fall back to local triple a authentication uh, login uh, default group radius and then local that's it now we have to go to the port so in my case uh, the the dot one export is port 3 so interface uh, ethernet 1 slash 0 slash uh, 3 uh, authentication 
host mode uh, multi host okay and uh, dot one x pi authenticator no shut that's it okay show authentication as you can see it is showing failed okay so what we have to do we have to put our uh, username and password so in our case what's the user we defined the user was user 15 so we'll go to properties authentication additional settings as you can see authentication is enabled okay remember credential fallback additional settings and user authentication so we will replace it to uh, user 15 we have to type the password that we defined in uh, internal identity store so okay okay and let's verify it here what's going on it's not accepting it's moved to the block state uh, I'm sorry uh, we will And then, 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 yeah, that's it. I will just, yeah, as you can see, the authentication username is user 15 and the assigned VLAN is VLAN 15. So, show VLAN. As you can see, the port number 3 is a part of VLAN 15, and uh, port number 3 is a part of VLAN 15, and uh, show authentication session. As you can see, we use the user 15, which is locally defined on the Cisco OIS, and he received the VLAN 15, and uh, the method is 802.1x. Now, uh, let's uh, verify the logs and hits here. Now, under the policy and policy set, uh, you see we should receive some hit here. As you can see, we got two hits, and if I get inside to the policy, as you can see I have a two hits and if I show you the authorization rule okay so it should receive one hit here as you can see it's received one hit okay and the authentication policy let's see it's received it uses the default ID store it's okay so let's verify the logs radius live logs yeah so as you can see user 15 uh, authentication policy 1510 authorization rule 1 and uh, profile is used 115 VLAN 1515 the one we created and uh, if I show you the detailed logs the user is authentication is succeeded using username uh, user 15 uh, authorization result profile VLAN 15 rule 1 and uh, other parameters as you can see the method is .1x it's using peep and uh, the vlan tag i should show you the vlan tag as well let me show you yeah this is the vlan tag so he received a vlan 15 dynamically by using the cisco policy okay so everything is perfect uh, please kindly like and subscribe to my channel if you have any question please comment and i will get back to you Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.